In these problems, we are finding the values of trigonometric functions that are composed with the inverse of the function. What the heck does that even mean? Well, let's let's take a look at this second one first because I think it's a little easier. The value we've got inside the parentheses here is uh, the negative pi over 6. So if we have negative pi over 6 here, that's where x is square root of 3 over 2 and y is negative 1 half. So what's the cosine of negative pi over 6? Well, it's the x value. So the cosine of negative pi over 6 is square root of 3 over 2. Well, so let's write that in here. Now, what is the inverse cosine of square root of 3 over 2? Well, you find that on the, the unit circle, and you take the radian value, which is pi, negative pi over 6. So our answer here is negative pi over 6. And what's really happening is that the inverse of the function and the function itself, they cancel each other out. You go from pi, negative pi over 6 to square root of 3 over 2, and then back to negative pi over 6. So when you see a problem like this, the, the function composed with its inverse, you just take the value, and that's your answer. So this value is the square root of 3. And that's really all there is to finding um, the composition of a trig function with its inverse.